guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This has been a long time since I've sat down and actually done one of these videos with you. So I thought I would do an updated what's in my Disney Parks bag. I did do a couple of these a few years ago from when I went to Disneyland Paris. But obviously things have changed since the pandemic. We need different stuff in our bags. So I have been to Walt Disney World since the pandemic. We actually went in November 2021. I think we went like a few days after the borders opened. It was already pre-planned so it worked out really well. So I didn't actually have time to film a what's in my bag or a trip announcement video because I just wasn't sure if it was definitely going to happen. But we are going back again and I thought I would film a what's in my Disney park bag this time. Because I do genuinely love watching these and it's always good to like look back at what I did take because I always forget things. So let's get to it. So this is my Disney Parks bag that I think I'm really gonna take. Got this one in November while I was out there. It is so pretty. It's like the iridescent one. It looks great on the camera here. So this is what I'm gonna take. And obviously it's a lounge fly. They are the best bags I think. They are so compact and you can fit so much in them. So first up is something that I normally use and put on the outside of my bags. It is these little ear clips here. I got sent these like quite a few years ago from um, a little creator on Instagram which I'll tag them down below from the top of my head right now I can't remember the name of the shop but I love her she's great so I've got a little balloon one a little Minnie Mouse polka dot one so I tend to clip these on the front of my bag just on the front here and then wear my ears on there so I can take two different pairs of ears or if I'm on a ride and I can't wear ears I can just put them through this so that's the first thing second thing is ears these are actually new ears that I got for Christmas. These are the 50th anniversary ones. They've still got the tags on. I actually need to cut these off, but yeah, they look cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I thought I would actually keep the 50th anniversary ears on for this video. So ears, amazing. So what else do we have in my bag? So this is the purse that I always take. I took a lounge fly one last year and it just didn't work out. So I like to take my coach purse. It will have, it has like American money. It has some sort of money in here at the moment. So purse with obviously all my money in. I'm taking my Monzo card this year. I usually use Revolut, but I put all my money onto a Monzo. So I won't actually have a lot of cash, which is, yeah, it's going to be different because I normally just use the dollars like that. But taking my Monzo, so that will be in my purse. This is a game changer and you guys need it. It is the Easy Ac Fan. They come in like a few different colours. Obviously my one's pink. You can actually sit on the table like this and it folds up nice and compact like this. I will leave a link down below for this because it's just so worth it. It has three different settings and it's intense like the intense one is very good especially when Walt Disney World is warm in the summer months this has been a lifesaver so I will be taking my Easy Act fan and there is a new smaller one version of these so I will leave the link down for both of those below next up we have tripods so this is the tripod I normally take for my Canon G7X Mark II which is what I'm filming on and it just pops out like this it's a Mon Manfrotto one I tend to just hold it when I'm vlogging it's a really good size and it fits perfectly just in the backpack so I normally do take that but I also have one of these Joby Gorilla tripod ones I genuinely love the Gorilla tripod so much because you can fold the arms like the legs around things and like hang it on to things and take pictures and this one is essentially for your iphone so say for example if you were in the park by yourself and you wanted to take a photo but you didn't want to ask anyone you could just set up your tripod put your phone in there and then use your remote control bluetooth and it will take the photo the only thing that worries me about this one is it may be too big for me to pop in here we'll see when everything's out but if not i will take the other one which i probably need to get an attachment for this so that I can put my iPhone on that. So I will sort that. Next up we have this gorgeous little pouch which has a G on it for Gemma from Primark. I got it literally yesterday. I thought it would be a really good idea for on the plane when I want to pop all my um, liquid somewhere safe and like know exactly where everything is. But also in the lounge fly as well to, for example, grab a hand sanitizer. I know it's just all going to be in like one place. I think it was about £3 from Primark. So they have obviously all different letters of the alphabet for your name. So go check that out in there. So first up we have hand sanitizer, Carex obviously. I really like the spray hand sanitizers. I just think they're a bit more cleaner and they just sink into the skin nicer. I just prefer them. So I'm probably going to take my Carex antibacterial hand sanitizing spray. I have a comb for doing the hair, sorting the hair out on the day. I tend to, when I go to the parks, 
don't really do too much to my hair and makeup. My hair and makeup tends to stay quite well and I always get the question of what makeup do you use because it just stays and it, I don't know, it just looks really good. And I always get like a lot of compliments. That might be another video I'll do on like what makeup I actually wear in the parks. I do take a few bits with me which I'll show you. I'm going to take some roll on deodorant too because you know what it gets like out there it's hot it's sweaty so i just got the new dove go fresh one and it's cucumber and green tea scent and it smells really good and then we do have some makeup bits in here too so i've got a compact mirror to pop on some lipstick when we're on the go and i've also got a little mini fix it spray from mac which I do have the bigger version, but this is just a travel one, fix your makeup into place. And then we have three different lipsticks here. And I think these are all, no, two of these are my red ones. So this is like my Disney red lipstick. So that's going to stay in there, whether I'm wearing like a mini bound or like the red uh, bow ears. I'll take my red lipstick with me. I've got two different ones. And then I've just got a normal neutrally sort of brown lipstick, which is me, her, which is that brownie sort of one and the red ones are maria moriarty which was a sample from a few years ago and the other red one is called cockney so i'm gonna have lipsticks in there i will probably put like a bronzer in there too because i just tend to bronze up my makeup when i'm out so i'll probably just stick a little bronzer in there as well okay next up portable charging bank this one is from anchor it is quite heavy i will say this is what it looks like and it is amazing like i use it when i'm at work on set i actually do need to charge this up and it comes with the usb charger so you never want to be caught short my iphone battery is quite good i got the iphone 12 pro max um so the battery is very good i only had it a year but if you're filming doing tiktoks like everything on there taking photos you don't want to be out of battery so i always take my um portable charger just in case then we've got the essentials so the essentials are a pack of plasters. So these are just the clear plasters from Superdrug. I really like clear plasters. So um, just in case you have like sore feet or anything, there's nothing worse than walking around the parks and being in pain. I tend to wear flip flops most of the time, but I just don't want to be caught out, caught short. Paracetamol. If you get a headache and you're walking around the park and you've not got any paracetamol, that is the worst, especially with that heat. So I'm being prepared with paracetamol as well. And then also I've put in there this time some wet ones, be gentle, fragrance free, antibacterial wipes. So this can be good if you want to like wipe down your table area or if you, I don't know, you have handy floss and you want to like clean your hands if you can't get to the restrooms. So I'm going to pop those in there for easy access of clean hands. And then another staple for me is what I put in my bag all the time. It is chewing gum. <laughs> I have the extra peppermint one. It's a staple. I love it. I need it in my handbag. So that's coming with me. And then I also take my sunglasses. These are like my Disney sunglasses that I wear all the time when I go to the parks. They're heart shaped, they're super cute. They did actually get bent out of shape and I think I've managed to fix them. Yeah, they're fixed. So I've got my sunglasses in there so I'll be switching out between these and also some Ray-Bans as well. So this won't probably apply to everyone but I am going to take my glasses which are just these ones here because at night time i find it harder to see things especially with all the lights all the lights are a bit more blurred so watching the fireworks watching parade shows all things like that in the dark i need the glasses so i will be taking these when i'm going to the parks in the evening um just so that i'm able to see so i can switch out my sunglasses into my actual glasses and that is about it there isn't a lot that i want to be taking around the parks because i don't want my bag to be too heavy but a little bit of makeup lip gloss here and there probably pop a i'll probably pop a bronzer and an eyeliner in there too to top up throughout the day and that is that is literally everything that i take in my disney bag so there isn't really much difference i don't think i think the main difference is obviously the hand sanitizer and the hand wipes but let's just see if the Joby tripod fits because, yeah, it doesn't fit. That's so annoying because it's such a good tripod to take. So I will be taking the other one with just an adjustment on the top. And here is the adjustment, which I actually do use for my ring light. So you can just pop it on, iPhone in there, 
set up and go so i will be taking both of these and that will that will fit perfectly in there but another thing that i like to take as well as deodorant and smelling fresh and clean is also a little perfume bottle my favorite go-to perfume is alien oh my gosh i absolutely love it so i have a mini one here but i also have um like a small um uh, travel size one as well which i probably will take then i've got the c by giorgio armani here too so it's always nice to have a bit of perfume with you especially when you've been in the park all day and say you're going out for dinner in the evening but you've been at the park and you don't have time to go home and refresh deodorant perfume on little bit of makeup done sorted so that's all you kind of need is like the miniatures in your handbag so i will be taking these along with me too so that is everything guys i think it's not too different from the last videos i will leave a link below to the last previous ones that i did but that is what i'm taking my disney parks bag 2022 we're heading back to the parks very soon i am not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna vlog it i didn't in 2021 if you would like me to um leave a little comment down below let me know if you like this video i would definitely be doing tiktok videos i will leave all the links to my socials down below and obviously instagram stories and instagram posts so please go check me out on there and follow along over there too and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you soon with a new video thanks for watching guys bye